Hi, Tom Lydon here in Chicago with the Morning Star ETF Conference, and I'm here with Bill Studebaker, President and CIO of Robo Global. Great seeing you, Bill. Good to be here, Tom. Thanks a lot. Congratulations on your huge growth. I, I mean, you guys are approaching a billion dollars in Robo, and it's it's amazing how much money's been coming in and how much interest there is in robotics and artificial intelligence. What's so special and, and why are everybody coming on board right now? Well, Tom, this is obviously an exciting time. I mean, yeah. I think that we have we identified an opportunity four years ago that we had high conviction in. And now as we kind of transition into today, we couldn't be more convicted. And what yeah. we're seeing here is that there's an undeniable inflection point in the performance capabilities of the cost curve that's allowing really an explosion of robotic applications that only years ago were kind of perceived as science fiction. And if you look at the index now and the companies in the index, um, we're seeing a pretty paramount shift in their business models. Uh, interestingly, in the last quarter, we've had over 80% of the companies beat the consensus estimates. And so you're really seeing this uh, manifest itself in the company's business models. Yeah. So the average investor can relate to driverless cars, they can relate to Amazon delivering packages. What are some other areas in robotics that are really strong that people could pay attention to? Well, certainly if you look at healthcare, yeah. when we can operate with sub-millimeter accuracy, um, with that sort of precision and, and improve patient um, outcomes, um, we're only at low penetration rates. This is going to go dramatically higher uh, in the years to come. If you look at home automation, right? Look at the advances we've seen in, in Alexa and, and smart AI devices. Uh, you look at the uh, you know vacuum cleaners, right, with iRobot. Um, every part of our society has become automated, but at increasingly different rates. So it's pretty hard to predict which ones are going to take off and when. Um, but with the exception of industrial manufacturing, we're really at the very beginning stages of the penetration. So um, we think this is going to go on for years, if not decades. Yeah, and it's not like you guys are new to this. Uh, and I've gotten to know your firm for the past few years and just overly impressed with your advisory board. I mean, you folks have academics, you have professors, you've got people that are involved in creating the standards, the national or global standards in robotics. So right. talk about that for a second. Well, that's kind of the secret sauce behind RoboGlobal. Um, again, not only were we sort of fortunate to have identified the opportunity, but we were equally fortunate to have brought in some of the world's leading robotic thought leaders and experts, and, and they really help us to understand the technologies and where they're going. And, and that's a big advantage that we have over people that might try to do this. Um, these are technologies that are extremely disruptive, and you need to know you know, where the world's going. And so they really help us not only um, you know, understand the individual technologies, but understand how they're going to be deployed and what sort of penetration rates, how to think about the cost, you know, how to think about penetrations, uh, et cetera. Thinking so, three steps ahead, where it, the whole thing's going, it's, definitely, it's amazing. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And we rely on their expert network. So not yeah. only do they have expertise, but they have a, a massive resource base that they can, um, they can utilize. And, and the thing is, you guys are 100% focused on robotics and right. AI, where you know, there are others that are trying to dip their toe into this space that have their hands all over the place. Exactly, and that's, that's what our focus is always going to be. I yeah. mean, we think that this is one of the best investment opportunities of our lifetime, yeah. uh, and that we want to be exclusively focused on this. Yeah. Um, this is perceived as a niche years ago, now it's becoming mainstream. Uh, the effects are beginning to snowball. Um, these are technologies that companies need, that countries need. If you're not uh, automating and using these technologies, you're not going to generate the productivity and the prosperity uh, to continue. So yeah. it's very disruptive time and it's exciting time. As an investor, we think there's no better investment opportunity. The index is up uh, around 29% year to date. It's up 35% the last 52 weeks, um, clearly outperforming global indices. It's outperforming more or less the fan stocks right now. We think this is the new source of growth. The FANG companies are investing in these technologies uh, to enable their business. Right. We're going to the gold rush with these companies. These are the picks and shovels. So these are the companies that are prospering from selling the technologies, which is a big difference. And obviously the FANG companies, not, not to demean those businesses, sure. and I'm not yeah. suggesting yeah. that they're going to roll over. Yeah. They are great companies, but everyone owns them. Yeah. We and think if, that- if, 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 you, if you own them, you got to understand all the benefits that they have, but most importantly, as you say, picks and shovels, this, these are the things that are going to get them there right. to the next level, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So we think that this is an opportunity for all investors to begin to align their portfolio for the future. Yeah. 
And so if you're not doing it now, we think investors will likely miss a, a, a good opportunity. Great. Bill, as always, great seeing you. Congratulations. Thanks, Tom. All right.